sorry, I have to do it. <laughs> For our podcast listeners, Lily's wearing a lovely kimono designed by the folks at Critical Role, and she's flapping her arms around. <laughs> yes, I love it so much. Anyway, introduce our podcast to our listeners. Oh wow! Okay, we do straight in. Okay. Yes. Uh, hi everybody. <laughs> Welcome to all the films we judged before. I'm Katie. That's Lily K. That's, that's me. it. I always that's feel it. like I should say something else after that, but I don't have anything else. Like that's where it ends. It's fine like that. It's fine like that. It works. It works. It's it's been working for a while now. Four? 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 Um, Four? Call it three because we we, yeah. we changed the title about a year in. So that's true. That's yeah. true. So we can just roll with it. Anyway, we're going to have a new structure because we are very organized now. Just so you all know. <laughs> so three months into the year, we've we've really we've really got it down. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that wasn't a shade against us. I was just saying, we, we, we finally done it, guys. We did it. We did it. Also, uh, before anyone asks in the comments, I'm, I, I still have my hair. It's here. I just put it up, and I look like a K-pop star. <laughs> done. Uh, anyway, uh, so the first part of our new structure is we're going to talk about movie news, and Kate collected movie news for us to talk I about. I did. I connected a little bit of news. <sighs> <laughs> and I told myself I was going to be so good at enunciating today. I was like, I'm going to do so much reading. I have to be really on point with like yes. my words and being clear and being concise and all of these things. And I've already failed. <laughs> That's fine. I fail every time. So it's all good. Right. I have collected a couple of pieces of movie news. The hope is that you'll be able to learn a little bit of something, you know, every week when you do it, um, when you sign in. Sure. Let's, let's say that. That works. <laughs> yeah. When you jump on with us and you get to listen in, um, uh, it probably won't be very much every week because, you know, just a, just a little, little segment, a little yeah. thing of like what I've noticed is happening. I'm doing a little bit of fun stuff. I've got a little bit of bit, uh, more like serious industry stuff, um, hopefully. Um, but yeah, as a point, because uh, this is the first time, we tend to record these episodes on Mondays and they go out on Thursdays. So if there's a piece of, of news that's come out um, and we haven't spoken about it, it's probably because it's come out between the time that we recorded the episode and the time that the episode has come out. It'll probably be in the week after the episode, provided that's that we, um, you know, record actually week to week, because sometimes we, we bank episodes because we get busy. Um, mm -hmm. And I imagine at those times we probably won't do the movie news as much, nearly as much. We'll see. We'll see how this works. Yeah. But to start off with... Yes! My first point. We'll talk a little bit about what we've been watching recently, but this kind of ties into something I know that we've both seen uh, very recently. Um, Denis Villeneuve says that he won't make Doom Messiah unless he's very certain that it will be better than Doom 2. Is one of the first bits of news that I have seen recently. He's gone on record basically saying that, like, because they banked Doom yeah. and Doom 2 pretty much like back to back. Like yeah. he did both of those things. He there's a lot of talk about wanting to do the next book and all this sort of stuff, but he's very adamant in saying that he's only going to do it if he can make it better than the last thing he made, which I think is a fair thing. And also, I've recently learned a bunch of the plot about <laughs> the rest of the Dune books, and I'm going to be honest, I don't know if I want a lot of that. Yeah, yeah, they get pretty, pretty dark. To they get the weird, and, and also, and weird and... just um, generally speaking, a lot of the way that the women seem to be treated is not my favourite. Yeah. It's very yeah. man writing sci-fi. <laughs> It is. It's you know. It's facts actually. But like, I they already changed a lot. They have uh, from from the book. So I I don't think that uh, Denis would go in. Go fully? And... Yeah. No, I would hope not. Especially with some of the stuff I heard today. Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, I um, I, it took me a lot of time to read that book. It's a very good book, by the way. Like, mm. no shade or anything. It, it really is good. But I was like. It's one of those books where you like you're interested but you struggle because it's like sometimes it's way too heavy and sometimes it's just huh? it's just dense yeah this is the trouble i had with um the first uh king killer chronicle book 
Yes. And why I haven't read the second one yet still, because I just found I, I found the first one so dense. It, it is was really dense. good, but it's extremely dense. Yeah. Um uh and I've and got the second one is even longer <laughs> and more <laughs> dense. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I just I needed a break and I still haven't gotten over that break yet, so I'll get back to that at some point. But I just thought that was a piece of interesting um yeah. Yes. I, and I was quite it was quite pleased to hear it as well, especially mm -hmm. as, as, as how much, you know, the movie um yeah. industry oh, what am i thinking of the the corporate entity that is the movie industry at the moment is very mm. much like churn out another sequel yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm appreciative of the fact that they we still have people like Dini who will be like no i'm only gonna make it if it's good like if i feel like it's a good idea that's when i'll make it yeah um yeah it makes fair sense. enough <laughs> what's the um, next one yeah switching gears a little bit something a bit nicer nicer do tell me, me. <laughs> Um, bit nicer. BAFTA TV awards were announced. Yes. Uh, uh, most nominations I found weren't particularly interesting. A lot of stuff I was kind of expecting. Crown seems to be leading the nominations, which is is, is a surprise to no, no surprise. one. Yeah. But the nice thing that I think is yes. the best part is that um, lovely David Tennant was nominated for his role in Good Omens, uh, lead actor in a comedy. Uh, this is his first full what? BAFTA nomination. He has had nominations at the Scottish BAFTAs four times. He won one. Yes. Uh, and he was nominated uh, for a uh, cry. Uh, this is where all the Welsh people hate me because I don't know how to say <laughs> a cry mirror. <laughs> this was it. The, the Welsh BAFTAs. I'm okay. so sorry, Wales. I really I need to learn how to say some of your words. Um, you, you have such an interesting and wonderful language, and I um, am so English in this regard. Um, I want an attempt. You better he was off. nominated for a, a Welsh BAFTA, basically, okay, uh, a little gotcha. while back. But this is his first sort of mainline BAFTA nomination. Got it. Um, Yay, so that's David. very that's very exciting, and I was very happy to yes. see that. And also for Crowley, which is just fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry, Crowley. Crowley. Is the best. He's Crowley. Crowley. In, Crowley. It's, it's Crowley. Crowley in in, Crowley. in, in, in Good Omens. It's Crowley in, in the, <laughs> Supernatural. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the the blooper reel in Supernatural where they are trying to say it correctly. Crowley. 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 <laughs> <laughs> anyway, go on. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I just thought that was a nice piece of news, so I, thought, is, I, yes. I threw that in there. Um, we're going to switch gears back again, because I think this is one of the more interesting ones that has happened in the past week. Uh, mm -hmm. New horror movie, Late Night with the Devil, which I've heard very good things about, however, has come under a bit of fire for its use of AI-generated images within the <gasps> film. Um, oh there were three, I believe. Oh, no. I'm going to see if I can find the... because I think I've pulled up the wrong... Hang on, I'll get the, the Variety article, because it has the quote that they used but yeah there's three images that pop up very briefly in the film i think they use this interstitials okay um but they were ai generated and this was found by i don't I, I, not i think it might have been found on reddit but i don't entirely know off the top yeah. of my head i probably should have looked into that a little bit more but um uh but cameron and colin kearns yes well, i think it's kearns that looks like kearns or is it i think it's kearns I, I just believe you in that. Yeah. Uh, saying your name wrong, uh, says, said, um, in conjunction with our amazing graphics and production design team, all of whom who worked tirelessly, tirelessly to give this film a 70s aesthetic we have always imagined, we experimented with AI for three still images which we edited further and ultimately appear as very brief interstitials in the film. We feel very f incredibly... Inf let me try that again. We feel incredibly fortunate to have had such a talented and passionate cast, crew and producing team to go above and beyond to help bring this film to life. We can't wait for everybody to see it for themselves this weekend. Which doesn't feel like much of a statement to me other than, we, yes, we used AI. Next question is kind of the impression that I get from it. Yeah. Um, it's a bit so there's a there's a there's a big sort of push against it now in you know the spaces where people are like we cannot be allowing people to get away with using AI art period, and I understand that entirely. Um, I have <laughs> heard, <laughs> I have heard it's a brilliant movie, which is yeah. part of the trouble um, where you kind of want to be able to support because it's a quite a small you know budgeted film I believe, mm, it is, um, yeah. and it is doing very well. Um, despite that. Actually, funnily enough, the other thing I found as I was doing my little research today is that um, its box office opening was $666,666 $666, um, 
<laughs> no way. Which is kind of hilarious. Okay, that's brilliant. I love um, that. Whoever made that happen, well done. It's just like... <laughs> Weirdly, sometimes the universe comes together to make yeah. funny things happen. Um, yeah. But um, yeah, it's just a shame to hear, it, 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 and it's not necessary, you know. <laughs> I mean, you have plenty of artists <laughs> out there, but sure, use AI. Yeah, why the fuck not? Basically, I can't get into it because that we're off topic. <laughs> of the well, topic. I mean, it's kind of why I brought it up, to be honest, because I think it is an important thing to to and is, to yeah. be to discuss the fact that it's like I can I know why people are taking such a hard line stance against it, and I fully support that entirely. But I also understand the people who are like, well, it's only a couple, you know. But but it's also like you've got to draw a line somewhere, and if you're not, if you're gonna be if you're going to be against it, you kind of have to be all against it, which is the, which is I'm a shame. It's it. like, just why, why would you, why would you, why would you do that? You know? It's, well, f first of all, although because it's not as expensive as hiring a real artist. But it's like, like, they have the artist already. Like they used artists. Like they, it, it was, it was clearly that they were like, oh, I'm curious about what this thing does. And then they still start, like you could, I'm just saying, you could have done that and then just not used it. Yeah. Like you could be, I, I, I'm not saying you should, but like you could, you could have just not done that, you know? Yeah. Yeah. But like, uh, that's very upsetting. I'm not going to lie. I, I have like a little bit of taste in my mm. mouth because of it. Um, yeah. Mm, 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 mm. It's just, yeah. It's a shame. Yeah. Um, I'll go on to the other piece of like sort of more, more newsy yes. news before f kind of wrapping off with a bit more yes. of like a lighter piece. Um, it, the newsy news is also still pretty good, though, to be fair, because we're on an AI topic, so I've got another bit of AI information. Um, SAG, after ratified the contract uh, to limit the use of AI voices in animated shows. I took that. That was uh, a, a headline from Variety. So just so that we're all, you know, yes. being on the level, I'm not trying to plagiarize anything here. Um, <laughs> most of my information has come from Variety. I've seen a little bit on The Hollywood Reporter. Uh, I was just looking at IndieWire, just so we're all on the front up and um, uh, on the level basically um yeah this is pretty decent news there was still a lot of like um uh what's the word i'm looking for the the, the sag um deal the original sag deal for you know screen actors and all that sort of stuff from mm. the actor strike last year had a kind of huge pitfall in in the contract in that it didn't specify um uh what kind of performer needs to be within a film essentially and it left it basically left like a big leap loophole for studios to exploit when it came to ai performances uh which a lot of people were not particularly happy about the you know general consensus that i've seen from you know my spaces online who are incredibly against ai space you know it, it being used at all obviously um were that they wanted it to be entirely like prohibited however mm. it is very difficult at this point with the creation of it and the use of it already in motion to completely cut off the head so i can understand why the next best thing is to try and like you know limit it as much as possible like it needs to be done with consent is the kind of the the, the consensus however mm -hmm. the um hang on a second <laughs> I had a burp but it's kind of like not moving <laughs> Burp break. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. um, yes. However, the crucial difference in between the language between the contracts of the the, the original ratification yeah. and now this one for the animated voices is yeah. that it is specifies that voice actors must be human beings. Um, okay. So there is still there will probably still be stipulations in contracts to be like you give your consent for us to then take whatever performance that you do and then use AI to like generate or anything like that, which a lot of people are going to, you know, what's the word, negotiate out of. Mm. But it gives them a bit more space where it's like, if you're hiring a person, you're hiring a person and that has to happen first, um, which is a good piece of information. And I think it, it, it seems like it's from my limited perspective, it seems like the best way to yeah. go about um, yeah. this kind of deal it's still not huge on the idea that like we have to you know let these stipulations in in the first place but um i know that a lot of voice actors were really it, it, they, they, this is one of the things that's been uh, on the minds of a lot of people um mm. for a while so um yeah i think that that is a piece of good news i am very welcome <laughs> to people telling me i'm wrong 
Um, yeah. You know? No, I agree with you. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I thought you had more to say. No, that, that was the statement. I agree with you. <laughs> okay. <Done>. Great. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's that piece. And then I'll, I'll finish off with a piece of more just general entertainment tea news, which I'm, <laughs> you're very aware of, but I feel like we should mention anyway. The Acolyte trailer dropped last week. Um, giving us our first glimpse of the High Republic and the birth of the Sith. Uh, and it's set for a two episode premiere event on the 4th of June, which all looks very exciting. And that's really all I have to say on that fact. I just felt that that was the one. Yeah, I fucking love the casting on it. Uh, it looks gorgeous already. Like, mm. you know, uh, I'm so excited for the Acolyte. Like, uh, and uh, to all those who are already like seeing things that are not even in there. <laughs> Done. For, that's for, that's my opinion. For, for the listeners at home who may not have seen the video, that Lily just slipped off the camera with both hands. Yes. Um, oh, yeah. the other piece of information that actually came from that because I was looking at Star Wars. Got yes. They broke uh, a record in that it uh, reached uh, fifty-one point three million views in its first twenty-four hours. So that's um. Ooh. Uh, I think believe the most. Um, most views within 24 hours or something like that. I'm not entirely sure of the, um, it, it's not actually clear from, it just says it broke a Lucasfilm record. So I'm assuming that's what it means. Um, okay. Yeah, we're just going to roll with that. I'm going to go with that. Um, but yeah, so, but it's clearly been very, it's been very highly viewed and it is very hotly anticipated. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It, it felt a lot more, um, uh, where do I put this properly? in a way that's nice uh <laughs> yeah <laughs> i just it, it, it felt more generically star wars than i was expecting it to do um it like it, i feel like it, it kind of homogen it it, fi it fits in with the homogeny more than i was expecting it to mm. because mm. we've got a different um it's somebody entirely new to um the you know a new showrunner we have not seen in within the Star Wars um, yes. space before, which I'm very excited about because we need yes. new voices in Star Wars. I have said this many times over, uh, sure. but I'm also fully aware it's just a trailer, and I'm happy to be wrong about it feeling samey. That that was just the impression I got from it. I felt that it was a bit samey. That's a good way of putting it. Maybe we're gonna wait and see. We'll see. Yeah. Awesome. That was our movie news section. And we're going to do a very quick round of what did you watch last week? Because, you know, that's a... <laughs> Except it wasn't really last week because we haven't that's... done this in a few weeks. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> we got busy and and all of the stuff happened. You know how it goes. Life. It happens. <laughs> Life happens. Anyway, um, what did you watch last week, Katie? Just a um, quick, like, run through of, like... Yeah, uh, I haven't been watching much because I've been playing... Uh, Final Games. Fantasy VII Rebirth. There you go. Um, and then I finished Final Fantasy VII Rebirth and I went crazy. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Bonkers game. So much stuff happened. But I think the only huge thing was that my family and I went to go see Dune 2, which means yes. I now have also seen Dune. Um, I watched yeah. it on the same day. Uh, yes. It was a whole, it was a whole shtick. Um, I still am not that moved by Dune, as it turns out. I can see it. It's very impressive technically and uh you know the scale of it is incredible and all this sort of stuff and it's just it's 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 not for me <laughs> you it know happens. yeah it's it not happens. for me but that's kind of uh, all i got okay great so i'll knock it back to you what have you been watching yes okay so let's quickly recap i watched the holdovers finally fantastic yes movie. so good <laughs> so Loved good it. uh i watched poor things not my movie Amazon was great, but yeah, it's... I loved it. <laughs> I, I know, know I said I know. it before, but I loved it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was it was good, but I was like, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Moving on, uh, I finally watched uh, the Korean movie. I saw the Devil, fucking insane movie. I love the concept. Uh, it, I actually watched it around the time when uh, Twitter was going on like the best revenge movie, and I was I was gonna uh, repost it and and say like you know for me it's John Wick. Now it's I saw the devil because it's <laughs> Jesus Christ <laughs> they <laughs> went all out and it's it's madness to be honest and they show everything and I mean everything 
Okay. I think I got traumatized at one point. Anyway, fantastic movie. Very upsetting at one point, but it's it's a very nice like how a good man becomes the monster that he was chasing all along kind mm. of story. And it's memento vibes. Yeah. Yeah. It's very good. Very good. Uh it's not for the faint of heart. Just putting it out there mm. uh and the the biggest thing is that uh, after years of not watching it uh i am now watching the ones who live the walking that series uh oh, do you know what i've been tempted because it looks really good <laughs> very good i i am glad that i i went back to it it's very good and obviously rick and mission is is a it's the best <laughs> yeah i've been looking at the gift sets because um some of that writing is bonkers some of the mm. most like r romantic shit i've ever seen honestly yeah um and, it, and it's just i think it's just oddly nice to see is it oddly nice to see rick again like you said yeah i, I mean you you've watched it more recently than i have i stopped end of season six yes um, when most of the people did. when most of the people did um i stopped so... when rick exited the, the series that's when i stopped it finished didn't it like it finished main, now, yeah. yeah, it's, yeah. It's, That's yeah, what yeah, I thought. Yeah. I couldn't remember. No, 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 no. It's, it's all done. It's <laughs> it all is done. done. Um, they bought the other stuff, but yeah, I, I saw a couple of the gift sets and I was like, oh, this actually looks like good. <laughs> it's very good. I'm, I'm very pleased with it. Like, you know, what would like make it even better, and just putting it out there in the universe, maybe it's gonna happen, maybe it's not. Is that if my Momo would come back? <laughs> I love Momo. But anyway, it's very good, and I'm happy I'm watching it. So, uh, that's Funny. the other. Six episodes, Six right? Episodes. Yeah. So like, and I Which think there's nice. like two left. Yes, two left. I think, yeah, I feel like episode five might have gone out. It's either going out tonight or went out last night or something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna watch it tonight. Mm. Uh, very excited about it. I'm also watching Shogun, which is the fucking I've best series. I've heard in... really good things about it. <laughs> it's <laughs> fucking amazing. I love it so much. And Hiroyuki Sanada is the best ever, and he should be in everything. I said it there. Uh, very good show. I love it with all my heart. And it's for those who complain, it's a mini series. So there's there's no need to speculate if there's going to be a mm. second season. There won't be. They said it at the beginning that it's just a mini series. Done. It's a mini series. Gosh, mm -hmm. I really wish people would learn what a mini series is. Yeah, they don't know. You know uh, like... and, uh, and the Bad Batch, because, you know. It's a bad batch and I love them and it's the mm. last season. Uh so that's it. That's oh oh and I, I watched the first episode of Three Body Problem, uh, which is a book I really, really loved. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. I, I the only thing I've seen from it was the Empire Review and they they get they were pretty positive about it, but in that way of like if they were like, This is spectacle television and I was like, Oh that doesn't that doesn't interest me though. <laughs> No, I'm I'm realizing just how much I'm not interested in uh, anything that is like law over character substance, which I feel like is my issue with Dune, in that it is very much focused on like all the world building and all that sort of stuff, which is great for people who love that sort of thing. I bounce off it immediately. I have to like the people within it. Um, that's yeah. why I can only really get into Lord of the Rings so much. Like I like the character. The character Lord of the Rings has actually got characters that you can. Be, are very lovable but mm. that's as far as in, in as i can get i cannot do the rest of the stuff it's mm. so big and i just, it's it just is. i'm like oh god i can't brain's not big enough for that sort of thing i like uh law that kind of leads on to other law easily if you have to feel like you're learning like an entire society structure in order to yeah. <laughs> and like fifteen thousand year history in order to like feel you realize like feel like you're like you know immersed in the world yeah. i'm like no thank you <laughs> i don't have time for that you know yeah fair fair i i think uh uh and this is gonna be the end of this segment is uh i saw a TikTok and it's so true like you know watching so many korean tv shows and movies where as i always say character comes first always and forever and then going back to american tv shows i'm like <laughs> It's it's nothing. It it literally makes me feel nothing a lot of the times, and I'm like, mm. why? I think I've, my my TV watching has gone way down. Uh, all those Same. Places. Um, I I mean, but at the, also this year, I don't know what's. I've, I'm just back in it. I'm back in a, I'm in a gaming mood. I haven't gamed in a really long time, and I'm really enjoying gaming again. 
Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm missing out on that for now. I, I started replaying The Last of Us Part 2 and then uh, I'm just waiting for that Jurassic Park Survivor game to drop. And mm. that's it. That's all I'm looking forward to for this year. Ah, that is what it is. Uh, yeah. yeah. All right. This is what we watched. And now on to our main topic, uh, which uh, this week is going to be we chose a musical that should be turned into a movie. Mm. And, uh, you know, we're going to give like, uh, why? Who should be in it? And who should direct it? Mm. That's the plan, at least. Yeah, just a fun little yeah. bit. Um, yeah. We both like musicals. It's been mentioned on this podcast before. We're, big, we're, we're, we're big musical guys. Exactly. Um, I'm set to go see two this year already. Um, uh, I booked them I both last year. Course. I'm very excited to see both of them. One of them is my pick, which is very ah! funny. Um, <laughs> um, which is a bit maybe a bit preemptive because I haven't seen it yet, obviously. So it's a bit like... I mean, I when you when you brought the topic up, I I had a there was a few that came to mind. Mm. Um, I put this up here not because I picked it, but because I do think I would love to see a version of Cabaret that's a bit closer to what the musical actually yeah. is, as opposed to the Bob Fosse movie, mm. which is good in its own way, but I feel like it doesn't have the shock value that the um, the stage show does. Um, yeah. Which is what my favorite part about it. Like the thing about the stage show is that you kind of come out of it feeling like somebody's punched you in the gut. <laughs> basically yeah yeah um, and it's really good for that reason uh, yeah. and i feel like the the movie does it a lot more subtly um which it's mm. kind of, it's still there but it, yeah there's so many like sort of major differences between the two of them but also the movie gave us so much of the music that is is so good so it's kind of like you know all over the place but i want you to start cuz i usually start and i want you to start oh god <laughs> <laughs> Like, what? <laughs> anyway, I wasn't prepared for that. There you go. I'm gonna start. All right. So my pick is uh, probably one of the most popular musicals ever mm. made at this point. It's Hamilton. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> I want. I. I want to see Hamilton. You want to see as a, Hamilton. as as a movie? Yeah. 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 Because it, like <laughs> the, the 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 original told was Wicked, but they are making a movie out of Wicked now. So I'm like, yeah, that's, that's kind already of the coming obvious, true. <laughs> yeah, I love Wicked. Like you know, uh, but. It's happening, and you know I'm more I'm the most excited about Cynthia Erivo because ah oh, she's fucking godsend. One of the pieces of uh, news that I was tempted to put in, but I felt like it was a little bit old, yeah. was um, John M. Cho saying that their their vocals are all live in the movie. Ooh. Um, so that's Beautiful. very exciting. Um, uh, I think I believe that they were given the option. They both said, "No, we want to do this properly." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, so that's very exciting. <laughs> and, love that, love um, that, love that. Obviously, I'm very excited to Cynthia Erivo, but I mm. am also extremely excited to see Jonathan Bailey be Fierro. Uh, fair, fair. I want to see Jonathan Bailey. <laughs> yeah, and Michelle Yeoh. Because... Mm, true. We just love... I mean, it's Michelle Yeoh. <laughs> it's Michelle Yeoh. It's like, Michelle Yeoh. Yeah, it's easy. Bit. So that, that, like, you know, but it's happening. So that's good. Um, dream coming true. Not going to mm -hmm. lie. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, Hamilton. That's That's my pick. Okay. That's my pick. And I'm going to be very easy on, on this because I honestly think that it should go on with the original cast. Like, mm. I wouldn't change anyone, yeah. basically. I No, that's perfect as it is <laughs> in my eyes. Uh, I think I thought about it a lot because, you know, my obvious choice would be Lin-Manuel Miranda to, to do I it. I think that makes sense. Um, yeah. Especially because... I think we know he can direct as well and can be interesting yeah. in his direction after Tick Tick Boom, which yes. I thought was yes. actually directed really nicely um, yeah. for the medium that it was. And I think he did an incredible job with it. So I feel like, he, yeah, it might make sense to me, you know? It makes sense. But then I'm not going to lie. If I look at um, in, in, Into the Heights. In the Is Heights. That? In the Heights, sorry. Um... He didn't direct that, though. He did. No, he didn't. John no, M. Cho. Didn't. No, no, he didn't. John M. Cho directed In the Heights. Really? Yeah. Did he only uh, direct uh, Tick Tick Boom then? Yep. Direct Tick Tick Boom was his directorial debut. I'll take it back then. Okay, I'm not changing <laughs> it. Uh, <laughs> then it's Lee Manuel Miranda. So I'm, yeah. I'm literally keeping everything as it is. Uh, in terms of like, you know, it's a. Uh, two hour and 40 minute play. So mm. it could be easily done as a movie because movies are now way over two hour long mm. uh, most of the time. I don't know how well it would work, but mm. I think it, it, it also, 
I I also like I I was thinking like what would I take out from it? Yeah. And I don't know. I honestly don't know. <laughs> like I I was like okay I don't want to leave out this because it's brilliant, but I also don't want to leave out that because it's also brilliant. And like mm. uh, and I'm like I just realized it that. I think it's one of those musicals that can easily be picked up and if it's done right then turned into a movie very right. easily in the right hands that's very important in the right hands, in the right hands. yeah uh, it was difficult i feel like it would be really it would it would be so quick to become overstuffed um yeah that's my only problem with it um it, it really quickly um because i can't i mean i can't remember the fucking uh, track list off the top of my head. I mean, I know all the songs, but you know, I, <laughs> I just don't remember the exact track list off the top of my head right this second. So I'm gonna go. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just looking at the musical numbers. It's fine. I mean, um, it's and, 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 until you look at it, it's uh, the, the only thing I could think of taking out is that. I mean, Jonathan Groff's uh, character. Yeah, that was my like first point. thought. Yeah, uh, was like that's the easiest thing to to sort of lift yeah. out um, as a as a thing. Mm. Um, yeah, that that yeah, that's that's the one that kind of really. Um... I hate to say that because obviously he's fucking great, but like, yeah, if if I would have to pick something, that that could probably go because uh, the first appearance, yes. Obviously, we need that one, but like the ones after that is just like more of a. They're interstitials. They're very, yeah. very made for the stage. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. You could film them and try and drop them in, but I feel like taking them out would make make the most sense. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Hamilton. Yeah, yeah. I can see. I can see. I see it. I see it. I thought about it. It it did cross my mind, but um, I'm not. I mean, because we've got the pro shot that's actually readily available as opposed to a lot yeah, of yeah, other yeah. pro shots um <laughs> there's a there's a vault somewhere with so many pro shot musicals and i want them released yeah it would be nice it would be nice um uh but um so i'm not i'm not as fussy about it you know is, is yeah. The thought. um yeah i just i think i just want to see it as a as a movie mm -hmm. like you know like how would that look like I, I have ideas, but like obviously seeing it actually on the big screen, like imagine on the big screen, just all that music, oh, fucking great. Uh, I also had another choice, but uh, I I took it out because it's already a mo based on a movie and then it's going to be a movie because thankfully they announced it and I'm so happy. It's, okay. it's one of my all time favorite animated movies, Prince of Egypt. Mm, uh, and they, they obviously made it into a, a beautiful musical. Uh, which I couldn't see because 2020, fuck you. Uh, but uh, they are not turning it into a live action movie. And I'm so fucking excited about it because they're going to keep the songs and everything. And I'm like, bless you. So yeah, I'm not going to say that Hamilton it is your turn, mm. my dear. Yeah, that, I like that. As a, yeah. It's a good choice. It's a good choice. I do also, I have I have another one that um, I almost picked but didn't, which is hmm. a little bit more... It's not avant-garde. That's that's the wrong word. But like a little bit more off the 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 beaten path. Okay. But it's also one of my favorite musicals, which okay. I got to see for the first time last year in person. Mm. Um, Next to Normal okay. is uh, uh, it is a musical that a lot of people who aren't particularly into musical theatre probably aren't aware of. But it is a um, it it, it uh, came about late two thousands into like early twenty tens. Um, originated with uh, Aaron Tveit and uh, um, a bunch of other very, very talented people. But I found it through Aaron because I was big into Aaron and his yes. work at the time. Uh, yes. I found a, a, a little bootleg online and I watched it that way. But they just did a, um, a showing of it at the Donmar here in England. First time they've shown it in the UK. And I was mm. very, very fortunate to go see it. Um, uh, I will be. They've now. They're now transferring it over to the West End, which I also will be seeing in July. Which is very that. That's a bit more exciting for me because when I saw it, I was up against a wall, so I only saw like half the stage. It was. It was yeah. a last minute ticket. Yeah. I'm not mad about it. It was still great. Yeah. Um, uh, which Jack Wolf, uh, mm. our, our, our lovely, um, our lovely Wylan, uh, yes. did an incredible job as Gabe, and it's just one of those ones I think would work very well as a film. Um, it, 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 it's a very simple story. Mm. It's set in a house, you know, it would be very easy to do. Um, I don't think you'd need to take out much. 
I don't yeah. really know all these sorts of bits and pieces, but I also haven't thought very much hard about like who I'd want in it specifically, um, especially as now Aaron's a bit too old to, to be playing Gabe, unfortunately. <laughs> Um, yeah G Gabe is meant to be 18 <laughs> yeah know? it's one of those things um uh but yeah I, I I thought about that one and I would like that one but it's not my main pick my main pick is Hadestown oh god I knew it I knew it <laughs> the second you said that it's not Cumbery I was like yeah it's Hadestown I'm, I'm 100 I do here. think yeah. Hadestown is ripe for an adaptation though yeah. um it, uh, but I also think because I thought about this uh, a fair bit in a couple of places um it is the most one of the more popular choices i think nowadays now that wicked's actually getting an adaptation yeah. properly and i think hamilton's the other one but for nowadays in terms of like what is the most popular musical that mm. hasn't been made into a movie hades town feels like the one in my humble opinion yes. um i think you could do something really interesting with it i think you could be really visually like stark with it mm. i don't think you i it's not a, a one that i think you would should film naturally i don't think it should feel like a bunch of people in space like because it's a myth it's meant to be you know a little bit heightened it's a, mm -hmm. but also i feel like you could really play with the cyclical nature of the whole musical because mm -hmm. it starts off by them knowing where it's going to end but they tell the story again anyway because they hope it will change by the yeah. end of it the whole yeah. thing is about that cycle of like this keep will keep doing it and we know how it's going to turn out but the hope is that maybe one day it'll turn out differently even though we know it's not going to that's mm, kind of mm -hmm. like it's built into it the tragedy is it is a tragedy inherently um like very deep in its bones and in the structure of it and i think you could do that really interestingly with a movie in like somehow you know bringing the end into the beginnings in, in a weird way where if you like watched it over and over again it would almost come very full circle and all this sort of stuff um and yeah i just think you i don't think you should be filming it in a way that make, looks makes it look like you're filming real life and people are just singing i think you should be really stylized mm. um and it could be very interesting that way but because of that i don't have a director i couldn't think of one because i think it's very hard we don't have that many directors who direct you know hmm musical theatre adaptations, I can think of three, maybe four. And annoyingly, they're all men, which I don't <laughs> like, you know, um, I'd it'd be more I, I, it's part of me that's like, maybe a woman should do that. Um, but I don't think Rob Marshall's the right person to do it. And I really don't want Tom Hooper anywhere near it. Yeah, maybe not. Um, and I Baz Luhrmann could work. Oh, that's true. I forgot about Baz. Baz could do something interesting with it, actually. That's a very good point. And I, I will say a, a really out there one because mm. he never done it before, but I think it would be great. Bong Joon Ho. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. That's not a bad point. He could do something really interesting with it. Oh, 100%. Edgar Wright passed my mind at one point because I think he's ripe to do a musical. Mm. He loves musicals and That's he does true, a lot yeah. of musicals. And I think yeah. he could do something very stark in it, but I don't know if, if this is the right one to do. I think I just want him to do an actual musical. <laughs> Yeah. Christopher Nolan. <laughs> <laughs> I, d I don't know. <laughs> no, I don't think Why? so. <laughs> um, I, I, I feel like it would just, I, I think it would turn into something else. This needs to be an incredibly heightened piece, you know? Um, uh, they, and it, um, Nolan, I think is, I mean, he does, he does action and all this sort of stuff very well, but I don't think he, I d he's not surreal enough for what I was hoping for, at least. Uh, have you seen Interstellar? Like... Surreal in a different way. Yeah. So it, that's that's weird. That's sciencey weird. I'm talking <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's it's it, it's that's like sciencey bizarre. That's like that you know, sci-fi weird is not the same as like artsy weird. Um, I don't really know how to describe it beyond that. It's a very bad job, but like. Um, there you go. But in very similar way, because I it was funny enough when you when you said I keep the original cast, I'd also keep the original like the original broadcast yeah. cast because I think Reeve Carney and Ava um, Noble Zada mm -hmm. are kind of those characters. They were them, especially Reeve, who's who had been playing Orpheus for fucking years. Uh, like he really that 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 character kind of belongs to him in a weird way. Um, I know he's not actually considered by a lot of people the best Orpheus, but he kind of 
is the original and i feel like yeah. i want to keep that um but patrick page absolutely has to be hades because that man has the most bonkers voice i've ever heard in my entire life that's very true. The, the wildest bass ever and i don't think you can really get close to that <laughs> it would be hard. I don't know if anybody else can really get in that yeah. space. I know that other people have now play Hades, but like Happy Page really has that. There's a mm. resonance to him that's quite um, terrifying in many ways, which is good for you know the character of Hades. But I'm also like, when it comes to Hermes, who's kind of one of the other huge parts of the 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 cast, um, I would be happy with either Andre de Shields or um, Melanie Labari. Mm. who is currently playing Hermes on the West End, who hopefully I will be seeing in a couple of months. I'm seeing I'm seeing it for my birthday, so I'm, I'm very <laughs> excited about it. Good. Um, I booked this nearly, I think, over a year ago at this point. Jesus <laughs> Christ. You know, when, 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 the, when the, um, the pre-orders went live, I'm like, yeah. yes, obviously I'm going. Um, I don't have anybody specifically for Persephone. I'm very happy with, um, I can't remember the woman's name but she is incredible who played persephone but then again when you said michelle yo i feel like michelle yo would actually do a really good persephone yeah i think yeah. she could do a good job so just as a, like a little curveball in there that could be very fun i think mm, i agree um but i think that's that's i think that's all i had in terms of my notes yeah don't don't know about directors that was the last yeah. bit fair good that. choice yeah good I, choice. I feel i feel pretty good about it yeah, 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 yeah. I figured it out <laughs> before you said it. <laughs> Someone would say that I know you. <laughs> mm, oh, crazy. God. I know. Uh, all right. Uh, let us know in the comments what would you pick for yes. a musical uh, to turn into a movie. Uh, we are interested to hear what you think. I'd be interested to hear if anybody has any musicals that have already got adaptations that they think need better adaptations. Um, so true. Uh, which is you know a very fair stance to have uh there's a couple that i think are already you know we've got a pretty decent version that out there like chicago's a pretty like pretty much this is that's that's pretty solid but um i'm gonna tell you one from the top of my head oh yeah go ahead dear evan hansen yeah could do with a better one <laughs> a much better one i'm sorry to say this but i i like watching that movie and was like ben you really shouldn't have been doing this you look like an old man <laughs> Uh, yeah, that one, that one, that needs a better one. It mm -hmm. deserves a better one because it's, you know, it's good. Yeah. All right, let us know. Uh, and now, uh, before we go anywhere, a little game. A little game. Tiny game, tiny, tiny. It's easy peasy. Uh, it's a your choice game, okay. uh, basically, which we already did a few times, but I, I love those kind of games. Um, I'm going to say a movie. Mm -hmm. You have to change one character okay. and tell me... Uh, uh, who would you change it to? And it's gonna be drum rolls. I don't know. I don't know how to do drum rolls. <laughs> don't look at me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's gonna be Iron Man. Okay. And you have to change one character with a Muppet. <laughs> 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 but best. only one. I, I still tell people about the last time we, we yeah. when you did this the first time because I still think it's the funniest thing that it's I've ever good. come up with. Um, for those who might not have listened to maybe listening to the first time, I came up with the concept of doing ex machina, but Ava is Beaker, um, yep. uh, and every time I think it's so funny. <laughs> it's a good idea. It's a good idea. And you may be thinking, why not Miss Piggy? And I'm, I, I counter that with Miss Piggy would almost be too good at this. I think Beaker's a funnier choice. Yeah. Agreed? It would just work. <laughs> it would just work. That's admitted. All right, but let's do Iron Man. And you have to change Iron Man character. Iron Man, I have to change somebody with a Muppet. Yeah. I mean, it kind of makes sense to change Tony with a Muppet, but it's, it, 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 I don't know who I'd switch him to. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Which hard part. Which Muppet, Muppet would I, I'd switch him to? Um, I mean, Kermit makes kind of se a lot of sense just because, you know, he's generally mm. speaking the leading man in a lot of stuff. Yes. Um, uh, or you could change. Oh fuck! What's the eagle's name? The bald eagle. Yeah, uh, isn't it bald eagle? Oh, I think he's got a name. Let me <laughs> cut this part out. Cause, uh, <laughs> eagle Muppet. He's got a eagle name. Eagle Muppet. Sam. What, what, His name is Sam. Sam. Sam, Sam oh yeah, that's correct. Yes, yes, yes. Um, 
You could put Sam Eagle in uh, in place of um, Jeff Bridges's Jeff Bridges's oh! character. Yes, come <laughs> on, just the similar vibe. I feel like that yeah. would work quite well, actually. Yeah. Yeah, that would work. I like that. Just I that, like that scene where he comes in with the thing that like disables Tony um, with the oh, like, yeah. high pitch thing, but it's Sam Eagle. <laughs> you, know? you know what? Yeah, I I now want to see that movie. Interesting. All right. I feel pretty good about that. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna stick with that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, good, good, good choice. Uh, all right, and then uh, the second round of this is uh, going to be a bit harder, mm. a tiny, tiny bit harder, but not too hard. Another movie, another car character change, but mm -hmm. this time you have to change into any animated character. Okay. It's a live action movie, and you have to change one character into any animated character. Okay. <laughs> My knowledge of animated characters is not that great. <laughs> It's fine, it's fine, it's okay, it's okay. Uh, and uh, we're gonna do a um, live action movie, it's gonna be another Marvel property because okay. I think it's funny. Uh, it's gonna be Captain America, the Winter Soldier. Okay. And I want you to change one character into an animated character. Immediate thought is to change Bucky into somebody. Ooh. But I don't know who. Um, again, my, my knowledge of, of, of anime. I, I... The only animated th movie that I can yes. think of right now is Spider Man, and that's not helpful. It's the same universe. You can't. It's the same universe. Weird. Yeah, yeah. Um, Come on, you know animated movies like the Lion King or <laughs> The Little Mermaid or Mulan or uh, Zootopia or. I, w I won't lie. You said the Lion King, and suddenly I'm like, could you put Scar in place of somebody in, in Winter Soldier? I don't think it Nick Fury. Be because <laughs> I, I i'd want him to still be who who was actually the villain in 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 winter soldier um uh, robert Rashford, uh, who played what was his name me and names i it's not my like, brain is not working he was like the, the head of um yes the head of shield yes yeah that i think it replaced him scar. With scar. <laughs> you know <laughs> I do like that. Like for like, you know, I mean, I feel like Scar Neil still needs to be somebody in a place of like, you know, villainy and unostentationness. Um, <laughs> I like that. I, I will I will say my own choice in this one because I'm like, do. I, I, I've been thinking about it and I'm like, uh, I would switch Chris Evans as Captain America to Judy Hopes <laughs> from Zootopia. <laughs> a little tiny body. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> Don't ask me how the idea came. I was like, you know, Judy Hopps would work. <laughs> yeah, I'm not against it. What was the name of the What was the name of the the fox in Zootopia? It's been already. Uh, been. Nick. I think it was Nick. Nick. Mate, Switch, hold on. It, I'm just as a just as a throwing that out there. It's switching Nick, um, with uh, Nick. It was Nick. Yeah. Uh, with Sam. Oh. You know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, that works as well. <laughs> or if we want to be really funny and yeah. pick another movie, I <laughs> <laughs> Shang Chi, okay. uh, and I would uh, switch Shang to Po <laughs> from Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> I don't know Kung Fu Panda. I've not seen it. <gasps> You've never seen Kung Fu Panda? Are you kidding me? None Kung of them. them? No. <gasps> I told you, my animated. I'm not. I'm not a. I'm not massive in the animated movie space, uh, especially nowadays. Like, I mean, I went to see a lot of these movies when I was young, but I haven't, I haven't gone out of my way to see an animated movie in a, in, a, in quite some time. At least like a like a Disney, you know, property sort of a thing. Um, I'm so shook. What the hell? The Kung Fu Panda is the best. I fucking love that trilogy. It's like I'm, I'm, I'm You're waiting to you finally have time to go and watch Kung Fu Panda for. I'm already angry because the Furious Five is not in it. That means that Angelina Jolie is not in it, and that's like that's a sin in itself. <laughs> uh, but like, <laughs> it has Gary Oldman in the second one. Gary Oldman was fucking fantastic in it, but everyone is fucking fantastic in it. I love those movies. Anyway, Paul to Shang Chi. It would just um, make sense. Is 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 he Jack Black's character? It is. Yeah. Okay, I'm just double checking. <laughs> it is. It, it would just. I would just watch that. <laughs> It just... No, I can see that. I can see that. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. it, it, would, it would make sense in my head. Uh, alrighty. Wait, counterpoint. Yes, you yes. You could still, going back to, to 
Winter Soldier, you could actually put Sam Eagle in place of Nick Fury as well. That's true. <laughs> That's tr- that that yeah that yeah. that works as well. Yeah. Mm. Or uh, uh, picture Kermit doing the the fight scene in the elevator. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. All right, fun times. All right, this is us uh, with a new structure and all that. Uh, and uh, you know, don't forget to subscribe because it's that's how we roll uh, ahead uh, to do more stuff. Uh, you can have a guest in the future. Brian is going to be back as well, uh, hopefully next week. Um, and then uh, we're going to talk about even more movies and TV shows and whatnot. The next big one that I can pull from the top of my head is going to be Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, which I am yeah. dying to see. Um, and also, just a side note, Alien Romulus trailer just dropped and oh, I need yeah. it right now. I knew there was another thing I'd missed. Um, I need it now, now. <laughs> Not not tomorrow now, <laughs> along with uh, Quiet Place Day One. Every you know, good. I'm I'm aware we're trying to wrap up the episode, but I had a weird dream about a Quiet Place the other night. Um, I don't know what happened in my brain or like what's going on. I've had a couple of really really weird vivid dreams recently, but it was like I do this every once in a while when I'm slightly anticipating a movie. My brain will go, okay, let's play this out. And then will give me a version of the movie that it thinks it can come up with. But this version was sort of oddly amalgamated with Stranger Things. So Steve was in it. <laughs> and, Steve! And some of the, some of the kids. Um, it very intentionally apparently did not put Will Byers in. <laughs> Why? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> sort, of, hmm. Uh, sort of a thing, but it was it was a very it was not it was an odd dream. It was basically kind of like Strange Things, but they had the monsters from really? Quiet Place in it mm. more than anything. That would be else. interesting, though. Um, it, it was it was a weird it was a weird dream. It was one of those ones that I keep thinking about because it was so vivid and strange. Yeah, and now we have uh, Joseph Queen actually being in a Quiet so Place, true. so you know that's probably where the connection came probably from. yeah <laughs> yeah yeah I, I would say so uh so yeah uh don't forget to subscribe uh hit that like button uh leave us a comment on mm. the musical you would pick and which one should be you know redone mm. again uh and listen to us on spotify rate us whatever you need to do it's literally just like one spotify, click apple Podcasts. we're on most podcasting platforms yep so you know just click click things and and we're gonna be happy uh but uh yeah i would like to say that uh thank you for everyone who's listening on spotify because our audience grew up to 100 people per episode so that's really nice that's and, nice that's, that's actually really cool yes that's really cool so we are very grateful uh and uh you know let's grow that number even more uh and yeah we're gonna be tell back next week tell your friends and family uh i don't know what that was don't ask <laughs> Uh, we're gonna be ni- blah, 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 blah. back next week, uh, and all our links are in the description. And you know, and, watch movies. You know, don't forget to watch all our, our old episodes. We have our two episodes on Toby Stevens that we did a little show shop. That's four. That's two. There you go. Show swap. We have to stop. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, so we got our, our episode on on Lost in Space. And we have our episode on Black Sails. Um, you should watch both of them. I talk a lot more in the Black Sails one. Let's put it that way. <laughs> You do like <laughs> an hour or more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, that's that's it. That that was us. That's and it. you know, watch. Cut the feed. <laughs> dot dot dot. Cut the check. 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 That's it. Cut the check. We're done. Cut the check. Oh, that was good. Cut the check. Oh yeah.